Hi. Now in this part of the question, we've got to find the distance then between two points, the distance CD. And this is a fairly common technique that we should be familiar with. We were given the coordinates of C as being 2, 4, and we worked out in the previous part of the question that the coordinates of D were 3.5 or 7 over 2, and the Y coordinate was 1. So how do we go about finding that distance? Well, we use Pythagoras' theorem. We consider essentially a triangle drawn across from C to D like this, a right angle triangle. And we know that the length CD squared, let's just write it down here, that CD squared, the hypotenuse squared in other words, is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two shorter sides. So when you're working out, for instance, this distance across here, this horizontal distance, it's the difference then between the two coordinates, the x coordinates, 7 over 2 and 2. So we've got 7 over 2 minus 2, the difference in the x coordinates, and we square it. It doesn't matter if you even wrote 2 minus 7 over 2 and then squared the result because even if it was a negative value, when you squared it, it would turn out positive. So you can always do just the difference in the x coordinates squared. And to that, we add the difference in the y coordinates squared, this distance here. So it would be 4 minus the 1. Okay, 4 minus 1 or even 1 minus 4, it's not going to make any difference. Okay, so I'm going to even just write 1 minus 4, okay, all squared. 4 minus 1 would have been 3, 3 squared is 9, 1 minus 4 is minus 3. If you square it, it's still 9, so no difference there. Okay, let's just work this out. We've got 3.5 minus 2, which is 1.5. One and a half is better to keep it as a top heavy fraction, so that's going to be 3 over 2. So we've got 3 over 2 there, all squared. And then we've got minus 3, or 3, it's up to you. Whatever way around you worked it out, that's squared. 3 over 2 all squared, that's 9 over 4 if we square top and bottom. Minus 3 squared is plus 9. And for the purposes of this type of question, I'm going to change this to quarters. That's 36 quarters. 36 quarters plus 9 quarters is going to be 45 quarters. So now I have CD squared. All I need to do is just square root both sides. So the square root of CD squared is CD. So I've got CD equals and I just need to square root the 45 over 4. So we put root of 45 over 4. And doing a square root like this is the same as square rooting the top, the root of 45, over the square root of the denominator. Now the square root of the denominator is nice and easy because square root of 4 is simply 2. But when it comes to the root of 45, we can break this down. And we get a clue here in the question. We've got to have a root 5 in it. And I know that 45 is the same as 9 times 5. So I can think of this as the square root of 9 multiplied by the square root of 5. So again, I can break this down further because it means that CD will be equal to the square root of 9, which is 3. I can't give the exact value for the square root of 5, so I just leave it as root 5, and then divide it by the 2 that we've got there. So there you go. CD then, 3 root 5 over 2, as we had to show. In fact, really, should finish exactly the same format that they asked us to find it in, okay? But it's not really gonna make much difference, I'm sure, if you just left it like that. But there you go. Hope that's given you some idea if that caused a few problems.